This video will show you how to check your grades in Blackboard Learn for Oakridge Academy. When you log in, in this case as a student demo, uh, you'll see your grades right away and uh, that makes it easy. You can look at your grades, but if you've been lost or uh, in a different part of the system or in a different screen, you can always get back to this website screen by clicking on the home button and then down here to the grades or the little clipboard. Um, or if you're in some other area or part of the system, you can click on Obridge Academy, the tab on the far upper right hand corner, and you'll see the various tabs across the top of the screen, portfolio, storage area, email, classes, and home. And of course, you can click on the home button and then the clipboard and that'll show you your grades. Now your grades are by class, so if I'm looking at Algebra 2, I notice I have an A plus here on the right hand side, the details for Algebra 2 are listed. And so I can see what's been graded, what's upcoming, what's submitted, and so forth. And then I can scroll down in the screen to see what I've completed or not completed as the case may be. And so you'll see in this particular class for Algebra 2, I've got a good grade, but I've only done a couple things. In fact, I've only done the first assignment called uh, Integer uh, Exponents yet. And so I have quite a bit more to do in this class. And that's indicated by the fact that only the first assignment has been graded. I got 10 out of 10. The rest of them are dashes or hyphens. That means I need to still do those assignments. And so that's how the grades work. If I click down on U.S. History, the same thing. In this case, I can see the details of U.S. History. And in this case, I've done quite a bit. In fact, it looks like I've done the entire class. This is all completely finished because the grades are all listed there. And so that's how I look at my grades and I can scroll up and down on the left hand side and uh, find the class that I need. And then of course the details of that class are on the right hand side of the page of the book. Uh, and so those are the grades and that's a quick way to check them. I wanna show you one other way that you can look at grades and that's if you click on the classes button and you look at the classes, you'll see that there's a report card on this screen and it'll give you a, just kind of an overall report card for the classes that you're taking. Uh, but if you click on one of the um, classes, let's look at U.S. History, uh, it'll actually open up that class, and that's how we open the class. And then you'll notice that there's a My Grades section. And when I click on My Grades, and then My Grades, uh, the area here, it also shows me the grade, in this case, just for U.S. History. And I can see the grade letter, I can see the total, and so forth, and all the information about what I've done in this particular class. And you'll notice, as I saw before, all these assignments looks like they're completed and so I'm done with this class with the exception of this reflections on current events that looks like it still needs to be done or completed. Uh, so that's a quick view of the grades. Uh, one other thing I will mention is whenever you see this gray circle in your class it means that the teacher has accepted or exempted uh, this particular assignment. You don't have to do it. Uh, it's optional um, and uh, it won't be graded even if you do complete it uh, and it's designed to be exempted. Uh, very often we will exempt the first part of a class if you're only taking the last half of the class we'll exempt the whole first part or if you're taking the first part of the class we may exempt the last half of the class. Uh, and so if you ever see those gray circles it just means these will not be graded and you do not need to complete them so be aware of that. Uh, in any case that's how you look at grades and this is a grade by grade uh, review in this case per the per course or for the US history class or if you want to look at all your grades together again click on the Obridge Academy area then click on home and look at the grades here and you can see the grades for all your classes any questions feel free to reach out and ask